Very good evening, Hazel. Friend. I like that one. Very Are good evening, solid? everyone, and welcome the Barbican for this intriguing encounter between Ronnie O'Sullivan and his young opponent, Sonny Akani. Yeah, when they shook hands, he always looked apologetic when he shook Ronnie's hand. This was the handshake that uh, Stephen was talking about. <laughs> A very modest young man indeed. this attempt at long pot, Ronnie Sullivan. It'll be a test for Ronnie's focus and concentration tonight because obviously playing someone ranked 84 in the world and someone that everyone probably expects Ronnie to win, One. even perhaps his opponent. <laughs> yeah, it's always that's nice for Sonny to get his first pot in before Ronnie got his. They just travelled wrong side of the blue. He's on the pink, I think, which would be a good ball to play. Just play a little cannon on the, the two reds that are touching each other. A little cannon on those. Well, I didn't play the cannon, but chance to score a few points here. Eight. Bit green tape around the, the bottom of his cue. Something that sometimes when you're starting off, it's, it gives you a guide of where to grip the cue. He's very deliberately getting down to this shot, sorting out his aiming. It's a decent start. From Thailand. He looks pretty composed around the table. I said he looked apologetic when he shot right his hand, but he looks you know, up for business now he's on the table. Fourteen. Coming across the table, could have done with just another 68 inches there. Would have made it much easier. It's that green tape that Stephen was talking about. Mm, very good. I was on the other table 19. when he was playing Barry Hawkins, but to beat a player of his standard 6-0 must be very talented. Tip Chaya is obviously another very talented player. 20. Look at how many players are coming from China. It's great to see different nationalities at the latter stages of these tournaments. Yeah, when Steve Davis and myself went into mainland China back in 1985, there was no Chinese players. We played a couple of amateurs and 26. they couldn't even make a 20 break. And uh, who would have thought just, just over 30 years later, you'd have so many top players from that part of the world. That's a very difficult plan to be going to take that on. Mm. With that distance between them, this is far from easy. Oh, very well played. Seven. Very well played indeed. So was a cucumber shot. Why not go for these shots? Thirty. Yeah, speaking to some of the players, everyone got the impression that they, he was a, a very slow player, but pretty decent pace he's playing at. Wrong side of the blue. So between yellow and brown, bolt cushion, left hand side cushion. Touch the left hand side, the red below the pink. Mm. Oh. Sonny Akani, I didn't think that was the way to go, but I certainly feel a lot better having that visit to the table.
play that as a shot to nothing. Well, that's a bit unlucky because he had covered it, but he's knocked another one over the pocket. One. I lost control of the cue ball there. Ronnie O'Sullivan, one. Cost him four points. He hasn't Miss. left anything, but uh, Sonny Akani four. The way this frame has panned out, it's not a bad thing for Sonny Akani. It's given him a chance to acclimatise. This time, Ronnie does hit it far too thick. And he can take this red and he can get on the brown and then back up to the red, so. Yeah, he's got an angle on the brown to come One. off the side cushion and hopefully disturb a few reds and the black. If you're not properly focused on what you're there to do, I think that's what happened with Barry Hawkins. Speaking to the players, I think that's what Sonny Akane does. He makes frames awkward. I mean, when you think about it, Dennis, it's actually like you would think it's quite a sensible way to play Sorry, the race because you're queuing the same way as when you're down in the shot. Tell it's you what, very Steve, unusual. I wish I had a thought about it when I was playing because I was the worst in the world using the rest. Foul. No miss. Never even dreamt about trying to use it that way. Well, the pot's on, but can he get himself onto the colours? He's just dropping it in, but all this will do will be give him six extra points. I didn't even bother taking the six points. He's Sonny got Akani a nice won. advantage. Oh, this is going over the corner pocket, but the blue may come to his rescue. Yeah, even shots like that refusing that pink. I mean, if he went for it, he wasn't leaving anything on. It was an extra six, six points from just those unorthodox shots can, can just... Just put your opponent out of his comfort zone a wee bit. Oh, can he see enough of this red? I think he might be able to, yeah. And One. He's got an angle on the blue. Okay, he's a bit closer to the cushion for comfort, but he can uh, stun this in. Um, Cannon the black even would do. Well played. Even though he's not the black safe, it's an excellent shot here. Six. Seven. Eleven. Blue ball. And that has pushed the blue Sonny Akani, rather 11. awkward. But just the one snooker needed. Nice little nudge in the red, although it didn't really matter the frame well and truly Five. over. You have to say, Dan, it's a very impressive first frame. Twelve. It's not look nervous at all. Doesn't Twelve matter about missing frame. that red. Ronnie starts in his seat. And uh, what a start from the Thai player. He did very well. It was an awkward frame. But he did win it and he leads Ronnie O'Sullivan by one frame to nil. Side spin shots with the rest, with a, with a half butt on the end, that's a bit more difficult to judge. Okay, back we go. Forecast is sunny so far. Oh, 
man, it's a, a long time since I've seen Ryan Sullivan make such an uncertain start to a match. He cannot play a shot right at the moment. One good pop, he's just let the cue ball drift. This black. Well, it's dangerous. And he's aiming down in the cue ball, so he's going to be making contact with the Reds. But it's there. Eight. Nine. They've never played each other, these two players. Well, that's an attacking shot. That's a brilliant shot. Absolutely stunning shot from Sonny Academy there. So Sonny knows the shots. 15. What a chance he's given himself to win this second frame. 21. Yeah, bring the cue ball back for a choice of pink to left corner or blue to left middle. 22. I think before this match started, Dennis, most people were thinking 6-0, six 6-1. Six 28. I suppose 6-0, six 6-1 six the other way. <laughs> 29. It makes this match even more intriguing now. He doesn't do that routine in every shot. But he's queuing superbly 37. well. And we've got a packed audience here in the Barbican. The crowds have been fantastic 44. since the television started on Saturday. And most of them 45. would never have seen this young man play before. 52. 53. 58. A bit much angle in the blue to be able to hold. 58. Terrific shot. It really was. 59. Good recovery there. Excellent positional shot. Sixty-one. His highest 62. break in this year's Betway UK Championship was a break of seventy-nine. Sixty-seven. Well played, Sonny Akami. Excellent. Yeah, that was a tough red he's faced with there, but is Ronnie going to stay in his seat? Seventy-four. Yes, he nods to the referee. What a start for this young player from Thailand. When players have got this sort of pre-shot routine, it does look more like you're sort of trying to be more like a machine and a robot. But you know, the, unfortunately, the games of snooker, golf, are robotic games where you're just trying to repeat all the time. Um, sometimes they don't like the players that seem methodical, but the game lends itself to that. He's fascinating, isn't he? Back we go. It's working so far. Yeah, the break-off shot put that red next to the black and has tied it up. Hasn't potted the ball for over 25 minutes. That's not a bad one to start with. Yeah, first scoring opportunity for Ronnie O'Sullivan. Three. Ronnie O'Sullivan's through. Unexpected miss. He'd got the perfect angle on the blue to try and bring some more reds into play. Well, he just played a safety shot, but he wanted to bring the black into play, but he, he didn't envisage leaving this red. And if this runs on and he's on the yellow, knowing Ronnie O'Sullivan, he'll pop the yellow and go straight into the bunch of reds and open the game up as much as possible here. Oh, he caught the pink first. He can still pop this red that's near the right corner. Three. Four. 
I think he's got an off angle, yeah, and the paint's still off the cushion. Go right to the same pocket. Ten. Eleven. Stun into the two reds above the pink, stun into the left one. This is quite a stretch for Ronnie here. Seventeen. And he needs a bit of action on the cue ball. And he's got it. The black will go into the left corner. 25. The rocket has lifted off. Yeah, if you're Sonny Akane, this is, this is what you expect is going to happen when Ronnie gets in. There's no point dwelling on it. You just look forward to well, 32. get ready to take any chance that comes your way. 33. Yeah, a bit like the 33. 80s and 90s, playing Steve Davis. You made a mistake, you went and sat down, got yourself ready for the next frame. Same thing with Stephen Henry in the 90s. One mistake in the number of times you've sat out, 38. getting yourself ready for the next frame. 39. Forty-four. Forty-five. Certainly doesn't take 50. him long to win a frame, does it? Not that many more pots away from getting his first frame Let's on the one. board. Fifty-seven. Fifty-eight. Sixty-five. Sixty-six. Seventy-three. Seventy-four. He's had three so far this year in the UK Champ. Eighty-one. He made fifty centuries last season. He's on thirty-five this season and nine hundred and nine in his career. Eighty-six. Eighty-seven. This just looked inevitable, hasn't it? From Almost the first shot, as soon as he got that pack opened. Just to knew it was going to happen. 94. 96. 96. Don't think Ronnie can believe that yellow went in. 99. That's the end. Century in this year's Betway UK Championship and coming just at the right time because uh, a young player from Thailand asked a big question of Ronnie O'Sullivan winning the two opening frames. This has been his response typical Ronnie O'Sullivan. 114. Very entertaining start indeed from both players, but that was a magnificent break of 121. But Sonny Akani still leads by two frames to one. Ronnie's got Johnny's metal. Sure does. And uh, we'll be going off the air at 8 o'clock. And a reminder that this will continue on the red button and online via the BBC Sport website. But let's enjoy uh, the last few minutes of our on-air transmission here this evening. Yeah, absolutely, Hazel. See what we're putting. Done. And nice long red. Yeah, the contrast in the two styles. so easy. 
I have deliberately Set. finished low in this red. Choice of playing this top spin or screw, but I think you'll probably play the screw back. You're more 70. certain. It's easier to control the cue ball, I feel. 18. Twenty-six. Thirty-three. What a recovery pot that was on the black. Fabulous positional shot there. Yeah, I don't think Sonia Kane should have made of angry, should he? <laughs> yeah, who was that? The incredible Hulk, eh? <laughs> don't make me angry. You wouldn't like me when 41. I'm angry. 42. Seconds average shot time. Don't think I've seen one further than that. Fifty. Yeah, you wouldn't bet against two centuries in a row now. It's been a, it's an awesome reply 57. to losing the first two frames and not putting a ball in the first two frames, let's not forget. I suppose the other 58. way to look at it, Sonny Arcani, you'll be going to the mid-session interval, two frames all against Ronnie O'Sullivan, he would have snapped the hand off, but he hasn't done anything wrong. Ronnie's just slipped into top gear very quickly. 64. Can't do anything about this. That's the frame safe. 70. Now we can concentrate. 70. In another century. 78. 85. 86. 92. Okay. 93. Get the last red. He's the wrong side of the blue. He wants to get a bit closer to it. Needs to drop on this red. If he's going to make back to back centuries, how's the nudge? 98. Oh, he's going to have to uh, double the red or cut it up the cushion. Going for the double. Unlucky, but it didn't take too long. We haven't had back to back minutes. centuries with that magnificent break of 98. Gives Ronnie O'Sullivan the fourth frame, and we go off to the mid session interval. All squares, two frames each. And Ronnie gets this first frame after the mid session interval underway. Ronnie never scored a point first two. Sonny never scored a point in the second two, sorry, the, the other third and fourth frame, so yeah, but just see his reaction. That sends another red up the other end of the table, so it's a bit of an awkward frame. Not sure if he can take a double on here, and if he did that, he'd have to be very careful. He has played the double, but has he gone far enough out of the table to leave Ronnie a chance to snick a red in? If not, Ronnie could have a go with the double on this. And that is played to perfection. Eight.
Ronnie O'Sullivan, eight. I think you can just see enough of this one near the pink to pot it. Well played. One is on the blue. <laughs> this is the first chance he's had for the last couple of frames before the interval. Didn't quite get into that. Needed a little bit more screw Six. on that to leave the red next to the pink. And that's Sonny Akani. a bad Six. miss. It was the previous positional shot, but still expect them to knock that one in, Stephen. Yeah, and I was talking about the reaction, what Ronnie did to him in frames three and four. Mmm, what a let off. Slight distraction for Sonny Akani. One. Mm. Another chance to see this action when he's got the extension on the cue. It just looks so natural to play it that way. Three. Four. Eight. Just on 11 points. 11. He's had to pot a lot of balls to get 11. He's now back at the high scoring 12. end of the table. 19. 20. So one good cannon here. And he could bring all four of those reds into play. And that's not bad. Certainly knows the shots 27. to play. That was the right cannon. Played at a nice pace. Okay, good on McGlenn ounce more. Impressed with him so far tonight. Yeah, it's gone just a little bit further than he wants. If he just rolls the blue and he's going to come past that red that's two from the pink. And that was the problem. Sonny Akani, 28. The white had just ran a little bit further than he intended. Well, this is uh, very attacking. <laughs> I thought he was taking the pot on the way he got down. I thought, well, that's a bit ambitious. I think he could have played it better. I don't know if this red goes up past the other red into the left corner pocket. It's a free shot if it does. So I think he played the wrong shot there. Yeah, it should never have left that one. <laughs> he, could have, he could have played a good safety off the red that's to the left of the brown. That's why I was surprised when he got down. I thought he must be taking the pot on. But have a look at what Ronnie's done there. Eight. Well, that's one of the worst positional shots. Ronnie's played all season, probably. Ronnie O'Sullivan, eight. Send this red up and move two other reds, and which is what he's done. That was a very good shot indeed. Oh, Sonny Akani, four. That's quite amazing. Heard on the safety side there, and this could be up behind the brown. Now it's just going to pull up, but no snooker. Well, loads of left hand side there, potable, but getting on the color, 
I mean, you could possibly end up on the black to the same pocket. One. No colour to come. Ronnie O'Sullivan, one. Yeah, it's been too thick. The cue ball will be going near the right corner pocket. Yeah, there's not a lot to play in behind now with the yellow and green and brown off their spots. A little bit on the thin side might just be okay. Yeah, he's got to be a bit careful here that he hides that red. And he hasn't. That jaw the middle pocket spoiled it. He played that shot with lots of side to hold the cue ball. One. Sonny Akani, one. That was a decent chance he had there. That's a cracker. One. Terrific long pot from Ronnie. 83%. He's potted 5 out of 6. We're only just a little bit below that. But that has recovered the situation. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Four. Five. Eleven. He's already glanced at the scoreboard. He's just waiting till someone goes back to their seat. They're coming back into the other table. Twelve. Yeah, I think he's trying to work out if he's going to need the blue. Nineteen. Twenty-five. Light of that one again. Pot's easy, but getting on the green in such a way to make it easy to get a nice position on the brown. Twenty-seven. I suppose if he's dead straight, he could leave the white where the green is, or he could screw back and leave a slightly better angle. No, that was... He put everything into Ronnie getting Sullivan, the cue ball where he wanted it and took his eye off the pot. <coughs> Another chance for Ronnie. Could have left that a lot safer. Oh dear. Now ah, then. He got nicely on the brown, but he never got near the green. And there is a path back round the table. I think he could avoid canning into the black. It's far from easy. He'd have to be absolutely spot on, but look where he's striking the cue ball. Dreaded double kiss, but look where the cue ball's finished. <laughs> Very awkward. I mean, to get over to the brown from this position. <laughs> what an effort this is. Three. Bit unlucky, but he can play the snooker in behind the blue here. He doesn't want to go in the pocket. He's hit this a bit hard. Ronnie O'Sullivan, oh, three. Tell you what, he didn't play it like that, that's for sure. <laughs> oh, 
Chair shaking his head in. He's shaking his head at himself as the careless shots he's playing. You know, he's got an opponent that's ranked 84 and is nowhere near the player Ronnie is, but Ronnie's getting a bit frustrated now. He wants this match over with. Would be. Oh, what an important shot this is. Oh, it was close, but look at the cue ball. Sonny Akani, four. He took the double on, but he knew he was coming towards the pink and black. Look, uh, look at that smile, but I might be able to get a snooker back here if he clips the pink half ball. But if he doesn't, he could leave the pink. Got to be very precise. Ronnie O'Sullivan, five. And does this pink pot up into the corner? If not, he can get the snooker in behind the black. Well, he went for the pot, and what a shot, six. Bit unlucky not to be on the black. He's gone for the safety shot. Has so he hit it hard it. enough? Six. He hasn't. Settle down, please. Thank you. But this is far from easy. Wasn't easy that. Now, where's this cue ball going? Well, he's looking at the potting angle. That is a brilliant pot from this young, exciting Thai player. I thought it was going to be more important for him because Ronnie won the two frames before the mid-session interval. But have a look at that right in the centre of the pocket and he's back in the lead. 3-2.